Southeastern Regional High has gone through a few major renovations that will improve the educational process and allow for more future Southeastern graduates. Where are you guys from? I'm from Rockland. Southeastern Regional High School was recently paid a visit from Congressman Joseph P. Kennedy. Stop and say hello. Gabby? Gabby? The first stop of the tour, we visited the child care program. Mr. Kennedy spoke to the teachers and even interacted with a few of the children. Yeah, and the preschoolers. What's going on? Yeah, it's a mix of staff children as well as Nice! There we go. Nice to meet you. You like playing with cars? Well, I won't bug you guys too much longer. Thanks for letting me stop by. <laughs> Next, we visited the plumbing shop class. Mr. Kennedy was shown a little bit of what the students were learning that day. Take a piece of tube, clean it, flux it, solder it, you cut it open. The goal is that you see all of that. Um, so they see something, something like that, we need a lot of work. Those kids are going to solder and solder and solder. It's a like a water heater wheel. All the students were eager to show Mr. Kennedy what they had been learning. Automotive repair shop was our next stop. We were greeted by one of the classes as we entered. You want to tell them a little bit about your program? You guys are. Students work on restoring motor vehicles. There's even a paint booth for new custom paint jobs on cars. The, the hood that's in here now is actually off this Mustang. And uh, it's a factory problem. The paint actually peels off of the hood. It's an aluminum hood. And it was a problem from the factory. So uh, there's certain ways that it has to be repaired. Metal fabrication was next. The instructors asked one of the students to show Mr. Kennedy the machines used to make the fabrications, as well as explain the process from start to finish. What do you do? We made a practice piece with certain slots and certain diameters. Did you, how did it start? It's, it started as a block, it's just a plain really, block. Really, just a plain block? Yeah, and then we had to we use Dykum, which is allows us to, um, to see our measurements in there. We use height gauges, calibers, just to mark off the certain spots. Then we had to end mill across and make a depth cut, so we can make this, this part and that part of Yeah, mile. Wow. We can load that extension into one of these mill powers with these little CNC machines here. And then we use a cutting tool like that. That and good kid, great kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. That's yeah. yeah, pretty cool. And so your graduates, what do they go up to? Oh, there's a million things that they can do. I mean, they can do it anywhere from a from a job shop machine. Off to the next room, we stopped in and spoke to a class learning about the legal and protective services. 
They spoke to Mr. Kennedy about the programs and educational opportunities that are had for students. A lot of our students, um, goals, uh, some want to go as lawyers. TSA is a big recruiting area that we've had an opportunity with. And then a lot join the court, court system. So uh, they're just building this program out. Really? Yeah, so we have a couple shops involved. We have engineering, um, we have environmental, and obviously legal and protective services. So what we're going to be doing is doing some research, having the students be like expert witnesses. So research, lab procedures, you know, drug offenses, you know, the law side of it, everything. And um, the cul IT, yeah, information technology, and the, the culminating event is we're actually going to go to Brockton District and take a courtroom for the day and wow. put her on trial and see what happens. You know, Good. obviously hypothetically. But we have to take a seat so we followed it really from beginning until the governor said so uh, they do robotics competitions, they do, why don't you kind of fill in? In engineering class, the students were creating orthographic okay. sketchings of a model um, car. What the students are doing and how this is an um, introduction to engineering design. It's almost the end of the period, so they'll be cleaning up, yeah. okay? Um, currently what we're doing is orthographic sketching, so what we do reverse engineering on this particular car. So we actually pull the car apart, um, and then they draw all the parts in here on the computer. So it's the measurements for the wooden parts, they're actually doing that. So what they did here is they started sketching them out today, gotcha. the top views and stuff. Right. So they're just in the process of starting that right now. Here's the presentation. Remember how that we made it so it animated? Oh. Okay. Joe really enjoyed talking to the students and even cracked a few jokes. Appreciate that. Uh, what do you want to do? You like this stuff? Yeah. I'm a twin too. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. My brother always. He's oh. the. Pin the butt. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which, so which one? Happy birthday. Thank you. What are you doing for? Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really, I yeah. appreciate that. If there's ever anything we can do, let us know. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. The next stop was electrical engineering. A few of the students expressed interest in becoming a congressman. One student displayed his skills in robotics and explained how he created his work. I told him to send a pulse in the motor to get it back. I say if I go forward, so I'll just bring it back to the down. I go back. Where are you from? Brockton. Really? Mm -hmm. When you're down in Washington, when do you come to Washington? Along the tour, we stopped by a couple of renovations to the school, such as a new dentistry lab. But that's a full operating, you know, an exam room, a dock room, uh, you know, a full, um, like a full head x-ray machine. And Southeastern Regional also has a brand new gym that Mr. Kennedy was in awe Boys of. The woodworking department had a gift for Mr. Kennedy, which was a huge surprise to everyone. Did they really? Yeah. That's wall That's fantastic. Yeah. Good. That's spectacular. But, oh, I want to show them your guitar. The shop's instructors explained the process of making guitars, which was very informative. Bridge bracing. This is the, uh, this is the sound board. It will eventually be mounted on here and trimmed off. And uh, this whole thing is pressed uh, in, in this fashion. And these are put down like this and pressured down like that. So you have all these. It actually puts a curve in the uh, body of the guitar, so it's like a speaker. If you took a straight edge, you would see it curves this way and yeah. that way. Wow. So when you put it on, you play at the sound and sound with it. How do you get the bend in them right over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll that. But you place this in here, you place another piece of stainless steel on top of it after it's soaked and soft, and then you take these and uh, then you place it inside a form to maintain that. Uh, and you stop building. So 
it's, a, it's, it's quite a trust. One of the students who was following us on the tour wanted to showcase her career path in cosmetology. There were students learning how to style and cut hair. The final stop on our tour was the Culinary Arts Department. Mr. Kennedy got to speak with a couple students in the kitchen who had been making lunch for everyone on the tour. So, do you have any design on it? Um, yeah, I'm making a flat design that we want. How do you, how do you make that? Um, it's fine, it hold out, and then take the sharpie. Right, right on fine, because I find it, no one needs fine, so it's edible, but no one needs it because it tastes like Play Doh. Gotcha. So you write the label on it, or you can take it like this, roll it thin enough, and you trace on it, and then take a food coloring and water, and like dip it in, and then put a dye on it. So really? Okay. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Good luck. Thank you. The many renovations and innovative technologies that have been built and are being built for Southeastern Regional High make it a gem of a high school for the surrounding towns and cities.